When you hear the name Phantom Auto, what probably comes to mind is exactly what this company is creating, a car that seems like it's being operated by a ghost. This is Phantom Auto, a foray into remote operated vehicle technology that's now being tested here in Sacramento. How do they work? They're piloted by a remote operator out of their headquarters in Silicon Valley. Today I took a ride in one of these Phantom cars with Jordan Sanders, the Director of Business and Operations, and he may be sitting in the driver's seat, but these cars are reinventing the expression, look ma, no hands. Hey, welcome everyone. My name is Ben, and I'm a Phantom Certified Remote Teleoperator. I'll be controlling your car on this drive through Sacramento today. Awesome. Thanks, ben. So yeah, so as you can see, Ben has full control of the car, um, changing the gears, uh, putting on the blinkers, turning the wheel. Um, and so I think he's showing off a little bit now. Could you give us a, a brief uh, background of the company again? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we, um, the company was founded in uh, early 2017. Um, our headquarters is in Mountain View, uh, California, in Silicon Valley. One of our co-founders spent uh, time with the, uh, working in the Israeli military uh, with autonomous vehicles and teleoperated vehicles. According to Jordan, the focus of Phantom Auto is to help usher in this new era of driverless vehicles. We came out of stealth in early 2018 when a teleoperator was actually remotely driving a vehicle um, like this one in uh, Las Vegas. Um, so about 500 miles away, <laughs> um, driving up and down the Vegas Strip. Um, gotcha. And uh, that was kind of a coming out party for us. And we got lucky because one of the applications of gel operation um, is to you know operate when the AV cannot. And one scenario that really trips up AVs is, uh, is rain or inclement weather. And uh, we actually got really lucky uh, in a sense that uh, th it rained for the first time in like 170 days or something during CES of 2018. So all the AV demonstrations came to a halt. I remember and that. we were able to basically keep driving. So we became everyone's teleoperated Uber. Their Las Vegas coming out was the perfect moment for them to seize the spotlight and showcase the need for their technology. So they partnered with the city of Sacramento and are working on setting up routes that driverless cars could one day navigate safely and with their technology as a backup. Okay, so I got distracted in our conversation for a moment when I noticed the car stopping and waiting for pedestrians crossing the street at a crosswalk. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, uh, the camera is mounted on, on the top. You can see oh, everything that's happening, oh, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry to no, interrupt. No, no, you're good. But... Yeah, yeah. But so basically, you know, the city uh, uh, wants to, you know, encourage um, uh, AV testing here, but also wants to do it in the optimally safe way and with kind of all the enabling technologies. Ultimately, what what can this technology do for the world? Basically, uh, on some timeline, every vehicle on, that's on the road today is going to be uh, fully autonomous. I do believe that. Well, just having the comfort of knowing there's a human in the loop. Like an OnStar kind of a thing where you would you would call in if, if you are in an accident, something like that, and then totally. you have someone remotely who could operate it for you yeah. um, if you're unable to. Yeah, exactly. Once you re remove a safety driver, um, there either won't be a steering wheel in the vehicle or passengers of that vehicle won't be actually allowed to touch that steering wheel. <laughs> Why do I laugh? It may seem crazy to think that one day in the future we may consider it unsafe for us to drive cars ourselves, but that's exactly the kind of future that Phantom Auto is preparing for. So to sum up, there's a lot of concern about driverless vehicle technology right now. The public doesn't fully trust software to keep them safe, and maybe rightfully so. This is why Phantom Auto is stepping forward now, to give the developers of autonomous vehicles or AVs a way of pushing the technology forward, but with a safety net. This has been great. This is so crazy. I mean, <laughs> just watching the whole thing, you know, you weren't touching the wheel the whole time yeah. and remote operator. You can see what's going on on the road yeah. with, with the lights and, and the, the people walking, you know, at the crosswalks. It's been great. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Okay.